This is Road to Vostok. This is public demo one build version two. We're going to jump in right away just to show you like a showcase area or as it called on a loading screen, it's called a sandbox. And there we see different sorts of stuff we can try out, we can take a look at just to get the kind of a first impression. These are containers, so you can loot stuff here. There you have like a placeholder loot. Item misc unknown, 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 unknown. But yeah, it, this is not how it will look. These are just placeholders for your information with containers. We can check out controls, what's new in that build. And of course, a very nice welcome mode. The purpose of this small demo is to get initial feedback on the core mechanics and to give a realistic picture of how the development is progressing. Road to Vostok is currently in an active production phase and solo developed from Finland. Have fun testing the demo. Yeah, like I said before, this is a one-man project. And nowadays you see a lot of one-man projects and this is one where I'm really waiting for it to get finished because it looks damn good it feels good i played the demo before i played that demo already and to be honest i would pay for it i would pay for it in the state as it is now if 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 that one guy would release it as an early access i still would pay for it just to support that project i really would so let's just get some combat boots out the pants a jacket plate carrier and a backpack and then we jump into the kind of uh, item ui so it looks good for me it is enough so we put that right here we put the backpack in there we have some pants we have a shirt we have some feet so you can even see what you're wearing which is a big plus for me i don't know how we can um access the the backpack no this is just to get it away but yeah we have different weapons to play around i already tried some of them like two bolt action rifles the sa85 and the mosin I played around a bit with the SVD and the K461. So for now, let's take that one. And we take the G7, of course. And we're going to have, why not trying the shotgun? And of course, for all these weapons, this is new in this build, we have some attachments. We have a... 12 gauge suppressor and let's just see and we put that one right here and i don't know if we can equip a scope for that let's take a no this is the wrong i guess this is the nine mil so let's just take out the weapon and with x you can get into a uh, customization kind of menu but it's the game is not on pause when you customize those weapons so let's just oh we can attach an optics that's nice so now we got the holo side there and we put the suppressor right here we don't have different ammo so let's see oh we have to yeah this is a pump action shotgun so of course you have to reload every single time i like that so as you see after that one shot i can't really make another shot so i have to reload after every shot we have a nice little spread which is nice let's try that as well can we we do have some of them we don't have an optic fitting for that but we do have something for the muzzle the nine mil suppressor yes so let's just see how that sounds so when you have it hold on that you see that if you change the fire mode the switch changes as well right now it's just full auto or single fire 
Let's just see how full auto sounds. Nice. And it's kind of a nice recoil. Nice group. Nice group right there. So all in all, with the weapons, let me just check, I think on shift and one we remove it. Yes, let's see how does it sound without the suppressor. Pretty satisfied with the sounds right here. And of course, yeah, we can lean. Yeah, right. And of course, we have the secondary, which is a 9mm as well. So the suppressor we took off from that, we can put on on that. And it sounds great, of course. Then we got a little... They are to shoot at. You ain't looking too good, mate. <laughs> Alrighty. So I would say let's hop into the zone. And here we are. This is the first playable zone. It was quite smaller on the demo build one. And he added some areas to the build or to the second build. And there are a lot of things you can do in this demo. Uh, as you see here, so let's turn it up to extreme and see. It actually still runs quite good. So this is what you can do. You can have summer or winter. You can have different times of day, different kind of weather. And this is graphical stuff. This is like post-processing stuff. And this is gameplay. So basically everything you want to check out in this game, you can. So this is how it looks in wintertime, which is quite nice. In my opinion, it looks really good. Always keep in mind that this is a one-man project. Right? And yeah, what you can't do is you can't aim or shoot while you're sprinting. While you're walking, you can't aim shoot but you can shoot without aiming either this is intentional so i try to shoot right now yeah you cannot hear the clicks of my mouse oh and we've got some ar dropping whoa 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 so let's see yeah let's keep that i did i turn on ai spawn yes i did okie doke so the ai basically they're walking around roaming around randomly and as far as i know or the way i tried it out is that they jeez when you shoot a loud gun they will know that there is something going on and they will go for these shots whoa 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 there's some one behind me as well and someone somewhere here or to the left hello oh there he is whoa and here i'm dead i'm always not limited in that demo which is okay for me basically this is it is the it's not much more to see in that game you can you know get into some buildings you know ignite some fires and stuff you know check the radio and fight some ai and that's pretty much it so not much to see but enough to know that if this game comes out this will be huge in my opinion this will be the next big single player survival game. So how oh we got someone shooting right there. I just don't really know from where. So the way that game works is that you go in between different zones or you go different zones or you check out different zones. You have whoa 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 
we have like starter zones like a few of them and then the further you progress the zones does get harder until until it gets so hard that <laughs> no not i don't want to say that it gets so hard until but jesus stop stressing me out right there Oh, jeez. Okay. Ooh, Jesus. How can a demo just stress me out like that? So what I wanted to say is that the first few zones will be quite easy. You have safe zones within these zones. I don't really know how that's going to work out, but it is like uh, every zone got like some sort of a housing unit where you can you know start a base or not really start a base but you can get there store some loot and it's like kind of a safe place yeah and the further you progress the less you have these safe places plus you will have permadeath in a certain point or in some areas further on the game the further uh, the further you progress so how does safe zones look? They might could look like that place. Okay. Maybe this is somewhat what a safe zone could look like. You have like a tent where you can store stuff. Maybe got something to test out accuracy. You have a fire you can start. Chuck. You have a refrigerator. Let's check that. Oh, there are some items in there okay you cannot really quick transfer them which is okay oh i forgot my gear like plate carrier basically you can ignite every fire every lamp ev uh, not lamp like like candle you find let's get back to summer get dusk and storm sound effects are great it is kind of loud i think i have to turn it down a bit yep there you have how the sound is changing from the inside and the outside uh, the outside the weapon does sound different as well is it inside i don't know if the suppressor really shows no, it doesn't really. Let's get rid of that. And uh, we have shift and one. There we go. So this is inside. And outside. So it is quite a different. I don't know how hard this is to make from a sound design perspective. That's inside and that's outside. It, it just sounds it just sounds right, I guess. But it shot some weapons inside and outside. I'm um, kind of a bit of a weapons nerd. And it seems that this really sounds right. So of course we shot on suppressed, so AI should be on the way. I guess in a finished game that would be a great way to lure them in into a spot where you have an advantage. Oh, the sound is just great. Lightnings and thunder. It just sounds great. So let's have like normal rain. Let's check out nighttime. You see, oh, it is super dark. What was that? Oh, this is the end of the zone. You can ignite this fire. And I really do like realistic nights. You know, if you play nighttime, no matter which game, if it is too bright, it just doesn't feel... It just doesn't feel right, you know? So let's go for dusk, go winter, and blizzard. Oh, could be a bit more snow, maybe. But it's okay. 
yeah that's actually pretty much it if you want to try it out just get it on steam the demo of course it is for free and just try it out i guess and i highly recommend every fps fan every stalker fan every survival fan and you know i really recommend you all to try that game out because it really is a nice piece and I can't wait for it to be finished which will take some time oh there we have them I don't see them right now and what is good they don't have kind of a godly aim you know so it's not that if they see you that they can kill you right away where are you? you're somewhere over there oh that's nice so you can't really aim behind the tree you have to get aside so where are you? so if I'm going to hide in that house right now He will come and check that house out. So let's just remove... Oh, gee, 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 gee. Let's just get in there. Oh. And let's change for neutral and summer. Well, let's, let's leave it on winter. Hearing footsteps. Seems like he didn't saw me. Let's just shoot to lure him in. Let's see. So if you want to support that one-man project, you can do that on Patreon or you just go on roadtovastock.com. I have a link in the description and then you get another link for Steam to wishlist it or to get Patreon to become a Patreon. I am a patron of that game because I really think that these kind of people who really try to, you know, do something great, to build something great, these kind of projects, they really i don't want to say that they need support but they deserve support it's just like uh, spaceborn 2 i just bought the game uh, i don't play it maybe i'm never going to play it because i don't really enjoy the game that much but i still you know wanted to support the creator of that game so and you can do the same on patreon or you just wishlist it to download the demo and every kind of interaction helps i guess to to you know get them you know the feeling of that what they do is 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 kind of good and that it is seen you know so i hope you enjoyed the video uh, i hope you're going to enjoy the demo of road to Vostok, and i hope you're going to be just as hyped as i am for this game and i'll see you all in the next one anyway catch you later catch you later